I have been adamant that Newfoundlanders and Labradorians cannot afford to pay the significantly higher electricity rates that would have resulted from the poorly conceived Muskrat Falls project. A project that is not our legacy, but it's one that we inherited. One that I fought against in opposition, and one that I've been cleaning up since becoming Premier. And since that time, we've had discussions to determine the measures to protect residents from rising electricity rates resulting from the Muskrat Falls project. We had to solve the problem, not for the short term, but for the long term. To mitigate the impact of Mus Muskrat Falls, it comes down to a $30 billion over the life of the agreement. My singular focus really has been on, 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 uh, on ratepayers, on, on the anxiety that, that, they, that they feel, the anxiety that, that my constituents feel, that the constituents of, of every member of parliament feel, and therefore every MHA and the Premier, and you know, people are on edge about this. And they need to know that we are working hard at it in a sustainable, fundamental way. Rolling up our sleeves, we've been hard at it. We, I think, turned a significant milestone here now, and that's why we wanted to come forward and let everybody know this. I'm not aware of an agreement. What I heard talked about is an agreement that in the future there's going to be an agreement. What I heard them say is they've agreed to negotiate. So, to my mind, this is a non-announcement. It's like we used to hear Mark Pritch's father say on VOCM, details are scanty. 